Hello, Maurice Dimba is my name. Welcome to this presentation. Today I'm going to show you some basics on Tecla structures, title block template editing. Our title block will have a revision table and the title block itself. But we are going to start off with the, the revision table, like the one you are seeing here, the revision table here. Now we will go ahead and come here, select editors, click on editors, uh, pick template editor, we'll go straight to new, underneath we have two options here, graphical and, uh, and textual template, we'll pick the first one, the graphical, we'll come straight to options, under options we have uh, continuous action, grid, pick, keyboard input, and preferences. has no importance to us except the grid. We'll come to grid and write down to density. Under density, we'll change this to 3 and 3. These are the heights of grid settings, of grid settings horizontal and vertical. There and accept that. We'll come under these five buttons. If you hover your cursor on top, you'll get the information about these buttons. We'll come to footer. We'll double click on this and change the height of this box that will be part of our revision table. We'll change this to six and come here and accept. After doing this, we'll come to this button, the third one from my right, and click. The select content type, we'll click this drop down arrow and come down to revision here and accept. But the height of this, this box is, is extremely bigger. We want to change that the same height of this. Just double click on it and run down to height and change this to 6. Only that and you, you accept that. After doing that we want to put the content of our revision table. Come on, on this button ABC. We start off with rev revision revision There, not right. Revision, accept that. The moment you click OK, that text will stick to your cursor and uh, you have the opportunity to place it wherever you want it. I want to place it here. Right click, come to pick, come to grid, snap. OK. The reason why I'm doing that, I don't want restrictions. Of the cursor restricting me to some points of placement. Now I'll, I'll double click on this. I'll change the color of that text. I'll change the font type to Roman D and the font height and accept that. Come here and accept that. I'll, I'll put the contents of revision on top here. Come to this ABC in green. If you hover your cursor on top, you'll see the value field. The value field are, are actually the content of the information we'll be putting down here. Like revision, or what revision? Is it one, two, three, four, five? We'll come here and click that, and uh, click on top there. Now, under that, we'll come to revision, mark, double click on that and change the font type and font, uh, font height. Change the characters to three. Normally, revision is normally zero, one, or one, two, three, four. 
so the three characters are enough you can't revise the drawing up to 100 or something revision though it's possible but it, it, it is a rare occurrence just go ahead and, uh, and accept that click there click on the screen come to line to separate this information from the others just click slightly on top of this line and do that uh, in accuracy slightly on top slightly on top there undo you don't need that right click and cut come to line click slightly on top and place it there let's click slightly down another line double click to change the color can go back there and put the same line on top here click there double click on it change the color we'll go ahead and put date in capital date click there and place the date here double click on this change the font uh, the font type and, and the font height and the pro uh, probably the color click that and accept you come to value field come to value field and place it there then immediately click on this on the space this dialog box will come immediately now we'll come to date of creation of revision click that come here double click this come down to font size and font height Roman D and uh, height B3 click there ok and accept that double click on this to change the characters number you only allow 11 we'll separate this information from there double click on this to change to black accept come there and add another line there double click there and change color I will go to the next type this description of the revision description description click OK click there double click on this change the font height and font size and font color let's click there and highlight Roman D or any font type you would like but restrict height of your text to the height of this table pick three three and accept that we'll come to value field we'll place the content of our description here now we'll come to description double click on this change the font height and font color and font type roman d size 3 there and accept that double click there to change the content we will we will restrict this to 16 characters only put a separator there let's zoom closer click there and run upward click there double click change this to black is voluntarily you can maintain the yellow color or you can change it to black or whichever color you want pick that and put the same separator on top here
there double click on this change that to black you're going to the next content you're going to drone by who drawn by click that and just bring it here click there or click on it on this change the font size to Monday color through that black accept that that's all come to value field place it there We'll regard this as informations. We'll pick information one. Double click on that. No, the, the, the wrong dialog box has come up because we, we've clicked outside this white boundary of this text. Click on that. Click that. Font of our preference. Click that and accept here. Change these characters to three because normally normally the names on the revision we don't put the full names like my names I can't put Morris Dimba I'll pref I'll prefer the initials M D now the maximum you can give here of the characters are three if you prefer to use the pre uh, the three names with abbreviations now we'll click three we'll separate this. click there and click there let's click slightly below this line just come up again slightly above and slightly below the line double click change that to black come to the line again and uh, they should align slightly above and slightly below this double click and change this to black accept that we'll come to the last information a a b c checked checked fit it here but you should note this the moment this text exceeds this box it will not detect the place the space available like this one will detect now if you make an attempt let's undo that if you make an attempt of putting the characters that will exceed the placement box like I'm going to do here I'll type here I'll, I'll, I'll increase the characters I'll put checked by and click OK you see they will exceed the by will out uh, will be outside but the, the information will be will be the same even if that by information is not there by the by letters are not there now if I try to click it will not detect this space this space not detect until that moment I'll go back and reduce the characters to the ones that will be able to fit on the available space I'll uh, just type check checked click there come and place it here and double click on this and change the information click that click that change the font type of your choice but you're re restricted to the height of this table accept that come here and accept that come to value field click here and this will be information too double click here and change its characters to be three change the font one D and the, and the height that one accept that
separate this. slightly below this and do that there and just run up place that there Double click on that change this to yellow accept that come to that line click there We'll click on it, change that to black. Now we want to close. We want to play. We want to place a line there, running all the way to this end to close this to define our frame. Let's click there. Double we'll click on this, change this to black. Okay, click that and slightly drag it up. Let's zoom out and do the same here. Come here and click slightly next to that. And run down there, double click there and change this to black. that okay click this and try to join it now zoom out we'll create we'll come to this square button and place a rectangular shape covering from this end to this end on the last table click there run all the way to this end click there And do this. It's not accurate. Come back to that button. Click there. Run all the way to this end. What we are going to do, we will not use this. We'll delete this. We'll cut off that. And don't we'll use the full length of this table we cut that we cut that now we'll double click on the first one change this height to give that uh, 16 and this also view 16 and accept we've made a mistake we'll, we should do this pr uh, be uh, we should we shouldn't do this prior to to changing these margins margins to zero we'll change that zero 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 and change that margin to zero also that give it 16 and accept just zoom out and you'll have your revision table now what we are going to do we are going to save this as a revision template we'll come here click save save on the desktop save it on the desktop for us accept that yes just zoom it out thanks a lot for watching and don't forget to subscribe on this channel now the next will be the title block itself and uh, 
uh, probably we will extend our, our our discussion to material list customizing the the whole table of material list under one drawing frame now thanks a lot for watching let's meet on the part two of the title block template editing thanks a lot for watching my name is Amoris Dimba